How's it going everybody? Hope you guys are having a good day today. Um, today I'm going to be taking you through how to use the warp text feature in Affinity Designer 2, also known as like the vector warp tool. So let's get right into it. To get started, we select our text box and we're going to go over to the warp group button and we're going to hit mesh. So a grid-like feature is going to pop up with a bunch of nodes on it. And on these nodes you can drag, move them around, and there's also going to be these four little diagonal nodes that come off of it. You can also bend, warp these to, to your liking, and if you want to make like a little hippie design from like the 80s or something, feel free. There's plenty of stuff you can do with the mesh, it's a really useful one right here. And our next one is the quad layer, and this kind of makes it so the text box moves in a uh, three-dimensional field. So if you grab a corner node like this, kind of see how it like kind of folds over like that forward. <laughs> there you can see it a lot better, and um, yeah, you can also go backwards with it, trying to wrap it back up around something so there's that one all right and the next one is the false perspective tool so you just grab the corner nodes again and it kind of gives you that false perspective look um this but this one's going to be very useful i can see a lot of uses applying this to like uh real life images or whatnot just to um, change up like a billboard or something in an image uh, pretty standard stuff the next one is going to be a um arc vertical so it's gonna kind of bend it to one direction and if you go up to the left um, corner up here you can hit the value and you can bend it 100% um, will warp it all the way that way and if you go negative 100 it'll do the opposite that way so play around with that if, if you'd like and you can also switch it from up here as well so say I want the arc horizontal there we go go over here you can do the same thing as well value change that but to start the group or the warp text um, you need to go over to the warp group button down here but continuing on we can go to our bend vertical and just like the other ones you can change with the value play with the value find whatever is fitting what you you want in your design and just like horizontal same thing once again so these last two right here they're a little bit different so we go to the fisheye and if we change our value so we want it kind of going inwards like that we can also play with these nodes after we change it since it has that same like a uh, grid as the original uh, mesh group layer Okay, so last one here, we got twist. This one's pretty straightforward. It's just gonna twist your image together. And once that's done, you know, I like to play with these a little, make them a little more smooth per se, maybe make it a little more round. I don't know. You really just gotta get in, play with it, mess around with them. It's a pretty cool new feature. I'm having some fun messing around with it, but Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, consider subscribing. And thank you. See you in the next one.